Oh yeah, what do you drink your, with your tea? Oh, uh, One sugar. Uh, see, the correct way to have tea is you fill the entire cup with sugar oh. and then put tea into it <clears throat> until it's like vaguely a liquid. <laughs> then you can have the tea. Oh. Tea is, dude, tea is terrible unless it's like <laughs> really very sweet. Uh. <clears throat> Thus begins an inexplicable morning. Oh, wow, fancy set. Hiswi places a cup on the table and returns to her position by the wall. I take a sip of the ruby colored tea and. Hold on, what is this? <laughs> Oh, peppermint? Christmas boy. He actually said Christmas. Christmas? Huh. Oh. Flabbergasted, I ramble on nonsensically. I didn't care much for the lavishness of the mansion I saw yesterday, but this tea is something else entirely. エスプリドノエルですね。エスプラーサンタロ。紅茶の名店といえばイギリスですが、こちらはフランスの名店です。ああ。創業そのものは1890年頃。日本に上陸したのは。Dang、imported <笑> We've just met you, so I'm gonna have to ask Alice's opinion on this tea to <laughs> determine if it's actually good tea or not. Christmas という表現は曖昧すぎて評価しづらいですけど、不思議とニュアンスは伝わりますね。Akiha laughs, seemingly having found my reaction amusing. お値段もお手頃だそうですし。ちょみはなにさんのお話だけ。上質の葉には黄金に等しい価値があると勉強になりましたか。オッケー。She <笑> So this is what real tea tastes like. What have I even been drinking up until now? Finally understand why all those trading companies sprouted up just to get their hands on this stuff. Ten minutes have passed since I came to the parlor. Akiha and I spend most of the time enjoying our tea. Few words were spoken. Every time our eyes met, we both turned our gazes back to our cups. Honestly, I've never felt more awkward. But even so, it wasn't a bad way to spend time. Having abandoned her for so long, seeing Akiha able to pass time peacefully like this fills me with an emotion I can't quite explain. Relief? Is that what that is? Regardless, it makes me happy to see Akiha here in front of me. Just as I'm enjoying things, a strange noise comes from the hall. Okay, uh, what are you doing now, Kahaku? Shut <laughs> the look on hockey. Yeah. Like, oh no. No, 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 you weren't supposed to see this. God damn it. <laughs> um The sound of someone's horrendously off tempo humming creeps through the wall. Oh. Hi. Uh, boobs. <laughs> I, I mean, bra. I mean, woman in lab coat. With your bra showing? And your tits half out? <laughs> um. Who the fuck are you? Okay. The thing that slams open the door is decked out in an outfit that's just as outrageous as her entrance. A top that doesn't leave much to the imagination and a tight leather skirt. Oh my god. Jeez. 
And that is a pretty outrageous outfit. And apparently the lining of her lab coat is yellow and black checkerboard. Jesus, that's custom. And also she's wearing like thigh high orange socks. Wow. <laughs> this is a fashion disaster. <laughs> it is. Uh, okay. High heels too, it looks like. Yeah. Nice slow pan down the. Oh yeah, you're not. Are you just not advancing the text? Or... I'm just. Oh okay. Chilling. All the way. <laughs> wow, it actually just keeps going. Okay, I think that yeah. Okay, it stopped. Yeah. Her long hair is crudely bound together. She doesn't seem to be wearing makeup, but her lips are strangely captivating. Her reddish blonde hair, combined with the fact that she's taller than me, tells me she's not Japanese. I mean, that's a possibility. I... I glanced at her unmistakable curves as they showed a picture of her thighs. <laughs> she does have a great figure. God damn it, <laughs> This guy. Well, he is a normal high school this student, This guy in his leg obsession, I swear. <laughs> she gives off the impression of a woman. I think she is a woman. The but... kind of person that would be more suited to lounging on the beach somewhere instead of standing here in this old mansion. <laughs> At least she would if it weren't for her white coat, which strangely suits her. I guess. Ohayogozaimasu, <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I skipped your appointment and now I'm here today. Oh, oh my god. Six spoon kind of. Wow, that face. <laughs> That's just Gudako's face! That is distressingly close to Gouda. That is a Gouda face! What the fuck? Also, I just looked up her voice actress, and she's Mamiko Noto. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I knew I knew I recognized it. Yeah. Like without question. <laughs> yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. The woman in the white coat barges into the parlor. Her eyes naturally meet with mine. Do you want to use actual words and not just making noises at me? She's still considering. She stares at me. After scanning me for some time, I catch the woman smirking at me when... Okay. is doubled over, howling with laughter. All I can do is frown. So who is this person? Akiha called her doctor, but Doctor Who? Doctor Arak, yeah. Akiha coughs and chides the woman, seeing my predicament. Hmm? いいわよ、そんな無駄なこと。好きちゃんのことなら、マキシタ君から聞いてるし。うん。好きちゃんだって、私みたいなよそ者の事情なんて興味ないでしょ。つうかそんな会社があるなら、どうしちゃんに向け
マキシサ君とはちょっと縁があって行くところがないならうちで一緒に暮らさないかとかプールに口説かれちゃったわけでも残念マキシサ君はちょーっとタイプじゃないんであっさり断って今は通しちゃうお友達、oh. なのかしら That doesn't tell me much. That tells me nothing. <laughs> um. Also, boy, the contrast between yeah. the two women on screen at the moment. <laughs> Akiha, you, um. Hey, Akiha, did. Do you at all feel self conscious about the fact that this woman has her tits out and you appear to be lacking them entirely? Did. Hiss we spike our tea by any chance? I. Right. Are we, are we on drugs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like we've been drugged. <laughs> Look over to Akiha to confirm that what I've just been told is accurate. I don't have the courage to talk to this woman directly. <laughs> Attended universe? How old is she? Yeah. <clears throat> also, I can't get over that her face is just Gudiko. This is very distracting. <laughs> I see. Oh god, she probably will just start crying until you comply. Please don't make us go through that. I've had enough of that in other series. <laughs> Arak laughs, not looking even the least bit sad. Except, even mid laughter, I notice that her eyes have never left me since she entered the room, like we're connected by a thread. Yes, we intervenes. Either unaware or unfazed by our conversation, she serves to calm Arak's energy. It's like Gudako with Sion's hair. Yeah, in a, a little different bit. color. Yeah. I can see the Sion in there a bit. <laughs> Man! <laughs> Takeuchi! <laughs> yeah. You can't. I just. You can't stop seeing it. Every character is just a different character or an amalgamation of other characters. <laughs> She's not happy to be interrupted. Arak puts a hand on her hip as she downs her sugar filled tea in one breath. Oh, nice sugar! Oh my god. I don't think that's. Oh my god, what? I, excuse me! Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> First of all. Well. Oh, nice sugar. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, this woman's a little much. I. I don't know how to deal with you. Huh? <laughs> What? What? Wait. I thought you were a physician. Why are you talking about an air conditioner? Are you not? What? I thought you were a doctor. What? Huh? Or... Um... Sorry, do you, do you do like trace magic? Do you like trace machines yeah. and figure out where their thing is? Like, are you Shiro? I don't know. What is happening? Uh, wait. Okay, bye. Arak saunters over to the door to the hallway, laughing all the while. She turns to face me, her hand on the doorknob. Uh, okay. Where is your Where door? is your door is the question, because if it's not in this building, I can't just come see you whenever I want. Right. I have to get permission first. The intruder leaves the same way she arrived, humming to herself. So, so Akiha, you want to maybe tell us what that was all about? 
Hmm. An awkward silence pervades the parlor. Nah, Akiha. Dude, I don't fucking know, man. Yeah. She just shows up sometimes. <laughs> so, that's just something we deal with. Dad said we had to keep giving her access to the property. And permission to mend things. Uh -huh. So she fiddles with stuff in the mansion. I don't know, dude. Dad's will didn't say I couldn't bring you home, but it did say I couldn't kick this lady out of my house. So, mm. I gotta keep letting her in, because a dead guy told me so. <laughs> yeah. Akiha explains the situation curtly. She answered before I could even ask who the woman was. As if to say she doesn't want me asking any more questions. I don't blame her. Akiha-sama. <laughs> It's not tense, we're just exhausted. Can we go back to bed? Excuse you? I haven't even begun demanding things yet. Yeah, you know, just be a top three student in our grade is all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even Mitsuru only expected like top five or top ten or whatever. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Kahaku seems amused by Akiha's defense. It's only the second day, but I feel like I'm starting to understand their relationship. Okay, I'm gonna stay here because no one has given me permission to go to school. Right. Well, I guess we can give him permission. Uh, no, you took my phone and there's no TV. Did I see the news? Akiha, you took away my news source and you don't have a television. And I can't research the newspaper in the library! Yeah. Not that I yeah. So Oh, she she reads the paper. Of course she does. <laughs> Man, that smug face. Oh, I'll make sure you have the paper to read. What are you, sixty? <laughs> She is a refined young lady from a very, very traditional family. That's all. Uh, fuck that. <laughs> you can wake up even earlier, just like I do. There she goes again. <laughs> my sarcasm is quickly hurled back, back into my face by her cold, pointed response. Soya Station. Hmm. Some say exposure, others say blood loss. Blood loss, you say? Some kind of true ancestor hanging around? Or just, like, knife wounds bleeding out? Hmm. I make no promises. Aw, oh, but I love dead bodies! <laughs> Mm. Akiha leaves the parlor after reminding me of my curfew. But, if she wants me home before the sun sets, that means I'll have to be back by 6. I even make my curfew 8 o'clock then. The clock in the parlor puts the time at 7.30. Yeah. Do you still have to walk to school? I can make it to school as long as I have 30 minutes to spare, but will Akiha arrive in time? Does she have a vehicle? I think I remember Asagami Girls Academy being pretty far away. Huh? What? Is Kohaku whispering to you? Kohaku, you don't need to taunt me. Right here. <laughs> oh. Uh. 
What is she doing? Hidden behind the sofa, she gestures for me to come over to her. To hide behind, behind the sofa. Ah, yes, that will protect you. Conspiratorially, behind <laughs> yeah. the sofa. Join me back <laughs> here. Kohaku. This is come my out. secret hiding place Kohaku. where Akia can't hear me. I'm out from behind the sofa, Kohaku. <laughs> no, she can't see behind here. <laughs> it's her weakness. She can't see things behind couches. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am not going to. I am mysterious made ass. Mysterious made ass. <laughs> yeah. Getting dangerous and closer, Kahaku. Kahaku pulls oh. out his cell phone from the sleeve of her kimono. That's my phone that Akiha confiscated yesterday. Don't get caught. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, that gave it back to him pretty quickly. Kohaku, you're the best. <laughs> Still, hey, being able to use it at school to browse is pretty good. Kohaku-san. At least someone in the Tono Manor is on my side. And it's not even my maid! Yeah. <laughs> I take the phone and quickly slip it into the inner pocket of my uniform. You also might want to keep that phone on silent at all times. Uh, yeah, just in case. So, you know, to get in quicker, have your own key. A key card for the gate. And the Tono sure don't slouch when it comes to security. Yeah, she's got the like the ruffled like Yeah, the sleeve. Japanese She's got the kimono with the Japanese little apron. Yeah, whereas Hisui is, is like total Western. French maid. Yeah. Yeah. Kohaku hurries off after Akiha. If I said no, how are you planning to resolve that? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that clock hasn't worked in years. <laughs> Currently quarter after nine. <laughs> Damn, that would suck. Hisui nods, seemingly satisfied with my explanation. Mm, sure. Wait, don't you have to ask permission to go to school first? I think they gave him permission since they're already talking about him leaving maybe but it was said yeah. he had to explicitly ask permission to leave the house <laughs> for any reason yeah huh. having a personal maid really is embarrassing i rise from the sofa in response to his wee's urging disregarding the intruder earlier my first morning in the mansion after seven years passed without much issue yeah, if you disregard if you, that psychotic episode you, you had. disregard the crazy lady that showed up, <laughs> stared at you for an uncomfortably long period of time, and then ran off to go perform surgery on an air conditioner. Yeah. In the bathroom for some reason? <laughs> this way sees me out as I leave the mansion. 